Hello, and welcome to the Factopedia. Today we'll be exploring the science behind Earth's closest celestial neighbor, the Moon. In this video, we'll start by looking at the basics of the Moon, what it is, how it formed, and what its physical characteristics are. We'll then delve deeper into some of the science behind the Moon, including its gravity. its role in tides, and its effects on Earth's atmosphere. Finally, we'll explore some of the ongoing research and exploration efforts aimed at furthering our understanding of this fascinating celestial body. So, let's get started. The Moon is a natural satellite that orbits Earth, and is the fifth largest moon in our solar system. It is approximately one quarter the size of Earth, and its surface is covered with craters, mountains, and plains. The Moon is about 238,855 miles kilometers away from Earth, and it takes about 27.3 days to orbit Earth. The origin of the Moon is still a subject of scientific debate. But the most widely accepted theory is that it was formed from debris left over after a Mars-sized object collided with Earth about 4.5 billion years ago. This collision would have ejected a large amount of debris into space, which eventually coalesced to form the Moon. The Moon's surface is covered with a layer of powdery regolith, which is made up of small rock fragments and dust. Beneath the regolith is a layer of solid rock, known as the lunar crust, which is approximately 40 to 50 kilometers thick. Beneath the crust is a partially molten layer, known as the lunar mantle, which extends to a depth of approximately 1,000 kilometers. The moon does not have a core like Earth, but it does have a small, partially molten region at its center. The Moon's surface is also characterized by a number of distinct features, including craters, mountains, and plains. Craters are formed by the impact of meteoroids and asteroids, while mountains and plains are the result of tectonic activity and volcanic eruptions. One of the most important scientific aspects of the Moon is its gravitational force. The Moon's gravity is about one-sixth that of Earth's. Which means that objects on the Moon weigh about one-sixth what they do on Earth. This difference in gravitational force has a number of important implications. For one thing, it makes the Moon an ideal location for studying the effects of low gravity on living organisms. Scientists have conducted a number of experiments on the Moon using plants, animals, and even human subjects, in order to better understand how low gravity affects biological systems. The Moon's gravity also plays a role in the tides on Earth. The gravitational pull of the Moon on Earth's oceans creates a bulge of water on the side of Earth. That faces the Moon, as well as a bulge on the opposite side of Earth. This creates a cycle of high and low tides that repeats approximately every 12 hours and 25 minutes. The Moon's gravity also has a significant impact on Earth's atmosphere. The Moon's gravitational pull creates a tidal bulge in Earth's atmosphere, which results in a slight decrease in air pressure at the surface. This decrease in air pressure can lead to changes in weather patterns, particularly in areas near the coast, where the tides are strongest. In addition to its effects on tides and weather, the Moon's gravity also affects the rotation of Earth. The gravitational pull of the Moon creates a torque on Earth, which slows down its rotation over time. This effect is known as tidal breaking, and it causes the length of a day on Earth to increase by about 1.5 milliseconds per century. 
Exploration of the Moon has been a major focus of space exploration since the 1960s. The first human landing on the Moon occurred in 1969. When NASA's Apollo 11 mission successfully landed astronauts Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin on the lunar surface. Since then, a number of other missions have been sent to the Moon, including several robotic missions and additional manned missions as part of the Apollo program. These missions have yielded a wealth of scientific data and have helped us better understand the Moon's surface, geology, and composition. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in lunar exploration, particularly with regard to establishing a sustained human presence on the Moon. Several space agencies, including NASA and the European Space Agency, have announced plans to return to the Moon and establish a lunar base in the coming decades. The goal of establishing a lunar base would be to conduct further scientific research and exploration, as well as to develop technologies and capabilities that could be used for future manned missions to other destinations in our solar system. Area of ongoing research is the study of water on the Moon. While the Moon was once thought to be completely dry, Recent discoveries have revealed the presence of water molecules on its surface. These water molecules are thought to have originated from comets, which impacted the Moon's surface over billions of years. The water is present in the form of ice in the coldest, darkest regions of the Moon, such as craters at the lunar poles. The discovery of water on the Moon has significant implications for future lunar exploration and colonization efforts. Water is a critical resource for human survival, and if we can extract water from the lunar surface, it could be used for drinking, agriculture, and even rocket fuel. As part of the Artemis program, NASA plans to launch a series of robotic missions to the Moon in the coming years. In order to gather additional data on the Moon's surface, geology, and composition, these missions will also help to identify potential landing sites for future manned missions. In addition to NASA's efforts, several other space agencies and private companies are also pursuing lunar exploration and colonization plans. The European Space Agency has announced plans to establish a permanent lunar base by the end of the 2030s. While private companies such as SpaceX and Blue Origin have also announced their own plans for lunar missions and lunar bases. In conclusion, the Moon is a fascinating celestial body that has captivated our imaginations for centuries. From its effects on the tides and weather on Earth, to its potential as a destination for future exploration and colonization. The Moon continues to be a subject of ongoing scientific research and discovery. Through the efforts of space agencies and private companies around the world, we are gaining a greater understanding of the Moon's history, composition, and potential for future exploration and discovery. As we continue to explore and study this remarkable celestial body, we are sure to uncover even more secrets and mysteries that will deepen our understanding of the Moon and our place in the universe.